Hey guys, it's Marty Geek. In this video, I have an unboxing and hands-on gameplay for PlayStation 5 version of Ghostwire Tokyo. Um, this, of course, just came out today, and I decided to go ahead and just go with the standard edition. There was a deluxe edition, but yeah, I decided to go ahead with this one. And this is how the cover looks. Looks very cool looking there. You got the Bethesda logo over here. Um, over here, you got Face the Unknown. Uh, action packed single pl player adventure. Explore a beautiful hunt, hunted uh, Tokyo. Powerful supernatural abilities. One player, 30, uh, 22 gigabytes of minimum st installation. Vibration function, trigger effects. And of course, Tango Game Works, Bethesda there. Very cool. Awesome. I love the cover. I love how it looks. The um, Deluxe Edition actually looks really cool too. The cover looks really cool. But there's not that much I was going to get for that. So decided to go ahead and go with the original or just the standard version. Looks cool. I just love the way it looks. I think it looks pretty damn awesome. Um, and in the inside, of course, you got this here. I believe there's no code, right? Let me see. Nope. You got this right here, which basically you got the commands here, the controls. There you go. That's weird. That's something you barely ever get from video games these days. Like a little menu with instructions on how to play the game. That's weird. And in the inside, oh, wait a second. This has a, like a look at the Tokyo. Look at that. You see a couple haunted or a couple creatures there, like that little girl without a head. Look at that. Not bad. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install the game, play a little bit, and share a little bit of gameplay with you guys. Okay, so here we are with the game loaded up already on the PlayStation 5. And right now I'm just going to show you guys how much did it take. It didn't really take that much. Only 18.91 gigabytes. And we're running with version 1.001. .001. There was a tiny update, I believe, after the installation, they updated something. Um, and here we got the options, sound very really cool here. At first, when you launch this, it's going to be in Japanese, but I changed it to English. But like you see there, there's a couple languages you could change to. Another thing, auto save frequency, that's pretty cool. By default, it's set to 5, but I put it on 8. But you can put it at any minutes, so that's really cool. i never seen it in other games. There's a lot of controls you can adjust here, very, very much, a lot of controls. The UI as well, you can customize the way the map looks, big, smaller, lock it, so much. Graphics performance, there's a whole bunch of features here. Look at that, you got that, this one, this one, quality mode, performance, quality mode, HFR, HFR, quality mode. The one that I use is this one right here, HFR High Frame Rate Performance Mode V-Sync. And here, music, I just lowered the music a little bit down just in case, you know, we get something there. But those are the specs that I'm using, you know, the um, settings that I'm using the game. I heard that you needed to do some adjustments to prevent lagging, and that was the best setting that I heard that you should keep the, playing the game that went to prevent lagging. Um, but so far, that's how I've been starting playing it, and it feels very smooth. Uh, when you touch the touchpad, you see the map, the, the skill tree, inventory, database. Right now, we cannot upgrade our character. We wasted, I think it's like 10 points that we used before to actually upgrade our... Uh, not upgrade, but buy a skill. Here, you can... Um, sometimes you'll see like cell phones or letters that you can go ahead and read from people. Um, all these clothes that you see there, and this, there you go. Uh, all these clothes that you see there are like bodies that died. People died and their spirits got taken away. So that's why you see all those clothes lying around everywhere. Uh, I see that. We've just finished chapter one. Which I thought I I thought that popped up earlier, so we're gonna start chapter two. Trouble. Okay, I thought we did one already. I, so okay. Everybody's gone. Did they all just vanish? It's really cool. The first chapter, you know, you first learn how to, what's going on. 
why that the spirit named KK got into you. And uh, you're basically a nobody because he, he was floating around and he just yeah. chose the, the first body he thought was dead. And it was this guy. And he wasn't really dead. He was almost he was almost dying. So that's why he, he can actually, you know, talk to each other. Our first stop is Yugen Zaga. Yugen Zaga. The world actually looks really nice. You know, Tokyo, if you play games like uh, Yakuza, it's going to feel a little bit familiar. Mm -hmm. What's that? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Look who's here. They're in our way. Take them out. Okay, we're gonna have to start battle here. So here we press and hold. This is one of the, uh, the first skills that you buy. You attack while using the Z2, the R2, not the Z2. Oh, we gonna, oh. Yeah, I was trying to rip his core out. There you go. Oh crap. <laughs> okay. Oh damn it, I need to block. <laughs> I'm trying to rip the core. Okay, there you go. Hold. Yeah. I love how that looks. That's so cool. So when you're ripping the core, you're basically like taking their heart out. I forgot to use the block. We could have used the block a couple times there. Totally sucked. Uh, these things are like items on around the world that are like possessed with some crystal. I forgot it's called spirit something. And you should you should hit them. That way you can accumulate those. I think it's spirit, some spears, fears, or something like that. Okay, what's this? Ooh, okay. Are these things gonna like disperse the the fog away? Okay. That right there looked like when Far and Far Cry, Good. when you uh, we when you the gates. uncover one of those towers and the fog of the map just disappears. So the fog was coming from this Tory gate. Looks like you have the hero. Didn't think we you'd be able to cleanse it. Okay. We're down here. Let's move on. What's that? Okay. Kaguro Suzu, a series of bells and fixes. Uh, 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 okay. Okay, we already unlocked a couple trophies there. Okay. So every time you see that thing pop up about database, it's basically everything that pops on the screen is gonna be you're gonna reread it there in database. Mm -hmm. We can crouch. If you crouch, you can actually sneak up on. What's these monsters that? and like execute them like Over do there. a stealth kill it's so nice and satisfying oh oh they're taking one of the souls things have already done enough to this city okay there you go nice let them go oh okay Damn it. Huh. Man, I'm not what's going on with my blocking? I'm sucking. The fog must have turned them into spirits. Let's see if we can't help out a little. Why don't you get out one of those Kadashiro? Okay. Hold the Kadashiro. 
What the hell? They got sucked in. Looks like it worked. Okay, now for step two. See if you can find a phone booth around here. Do they still have those? Just go find one, kid. <laughs> a phone booth. So we're sending anything here and here. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to find a phone booth. Well, we got a key which must be inside of this bubble that's on the screen that you can see there on the mini map. So it should be Oh, what's this? Gold. Oh, we're getting money from that. Oh, yellow ether crystals, you yeah, see yeah. Yeah, occasional cross crystal. They award you with valuable. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Look at that. Another spirit there. A hundred and four and. Oof. Oh, there it is. Hey, now what? Pick up the receiver. I'll connect us. I'll connect this. Not bad. The game, I like the way the game looks. Um, also, the, it feels really cool shooting with your hands and blocking and all that. Uh, but it gets used to, you know, there's a little bit of learning curve because, like, grabbing stuff is with L2. L2, really? Why not X? <laughs> like every normal game, why not X? Uh oh. Oh, what the hell happened here? Okay. Cutscene. Ooh, the bad guy. It's him. It's him. A futile endeavor. Hanja. Only I hold the key to these souls' salvation. Mm -hmm. Now stand aside. You are no savior. Man, I hope these cutscenes don't get hit by copyright because sometimes they do. <laughs> sometimes these companies don't like you sharing their stand aside. damn cutscenes. Come on. <clears throat> you need to get mm -hmm. out there and help as many spirits as we can. Okay. Spirit transfer. I got some right, money there. Four. Next stop, Yuganzaka. Yuganzaka. I can't pet the dog. Spirit transmission device. Okay. Mm -hmm. We still can't. Nope. Skill point zero. Man, that sucks. Okay. So, yeah, in the skill tree, so far, you can, like, buy new powers. You can also upgrade your powers. And so I think there's a, a part that says weapon somewhere? or equipment. Was supposed to be the plan. I don't know if you can use it to sorry. upgrade your equipment so, that you uh, gather during the game. I think it is, that's that's what it's for. Oh, uh, well, look at these gold pots. Let's take them. There you go. We're on max. What's that? Just leave it for now. Keep moving. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Let me see if we can sneak it. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah. Oh. Come over here. There you go. Man, I was trying to do a sneak attack there, a uh, stealth kill. Damn it. There you go, some more gold pots. There you go. That's so satisfying. Man, that sucks. That sucks right there. Scary tree. Looks alive. A convenience store. Might be able to find something useful. Mm hmm Is that a What the hell? Technically, it's a yokai, 
Yokai. Must have come out when all the humans vanished. What? <laughs> I don't want in my shop. I got lots of good stuff. Okay. What? Looks like they sell Katashiro. The more we got, the more efficient we can be rescuing souls. Okay, I guess we're gonna go and buy something. I wonder what we could use this for. Katashiro, Onchan. They've got some unusual stuff here. Who just carries around cucumbers? <laughs> oh, they've got engine. I like that stuff. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So we can buy stuff here, just like every other market. Like in Shibuya, and Yakuza. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still gotta go up there. Hmm. Head up to the second floor there. Let's go and take that. Okay, there's nothing there. Nothing there, and nothing there. Kind of freaky, huh? Is this your place? First, we'll need to unblock the entrance. What do you mean? Hand seal. Okay. Mm hmm. Wait a second. One, two, three, four. Okay. Hmm. That was kind of hard to do, like there. Just get inside. I tried to use my finger in the in the. Okay, it says you can use the touchpad. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to practice that a little bit better because that right there was really bad. What is this place? Mission complete. Okay, we got to his um apartment, KK's apartment, which is a spirit that it's in us. And okay, what's in here? Nothing. Mm -hmm. A note from KK. Seriously? Oh yeah? You want to do it? No way. Oh, look at that. Okay, so this guy is in. He's like a detective or something. Hmm. Okay, we got some well, we more got stuff to eat. From... Mm -hmm, special hey, stuff. Is this your book? Yeah, saw Kappa as a kid. Saw Kappa. Not bad. Everything on this map falls within the barrier. You saw what happens. Anyone who touches the fog inside vanishes. Hmm. Barrier? Are you saying that everyone in Shibuya is gone? Shibuya. Yeah. At least fifty to a hundred thousand will have vanished by now. Mm-hmm. Probably more. Probably that more. Can't be. Yep. I'm not really concerned with the body count, though. What matters is that your sister and our man are somewhere in here. But where, though? Hmm. That's why we're playing this game. <laughs> so to figure it out. Okay, we got magnetic field measurements, blah blah blah. We got his station here, very nice looking station, a lot of monitors, computer. We got a little picture here. Who Who are they? Who's that next to him? Friends. Huh? Emphasis on the were. Were. Our friend in the mask isn't shy about killing. We shouldn't have been either. Mm mm. So you all fought against that guy together then? Hmm. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to be ending the video here because it's getting long. Uh, you guys got to see the unboxing of the game, which I decided to go ahead and get the standard edition. Uh, let me know in the comments which edition did you get. If you got the deluxe, what did you get extra? Because I didn't get the deluxe, honestly, because I was not getting it like earlier. Help yourself. 
So that's why I didn't get, actually get it. Ooh, now we're going to get the arrow. Our first weapon is going to be the bow and arrow. Awesome. Okay. Let's just say I was one of this country's That's cool. But I ran with a pack of But video is getting long. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking the story so far and the gameplay. I, I, it takes a little bit of learning curve at the beginning because that's like a weird choices like L2 instead of X to grab stuff. And so on, so on. But it feels good. Let me know in the comments what you think about the game, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. A barrier? They're gonna crush the whole building.